In this exercise, exercise number four, complete the request with can I or could I? Or can you, could you? So we have to listen to tape script 5.19 and uh, we have uh, to listen carefully in order to uh, recognize how to use can I, could I, or can you and could you to make polite requests. So listen, let's listen, please. Tape script 5.19. One. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? In white or brown bread? Two. Could you post this letter for me, please? Yes, of course. No problem. Three. Can you give me your email address? I think you have it already. Four. Can I speak to you for a moment? Can it wait? I'm a bit busy. Five. Could you lend me 20 pounds till tomorrow? I can lend you 10, but not 20. Six. <laughs> can you give me a hand with this box? Of course. Uh, do you want it upstairs? So the use of can I, could I, and can you, could you to express uh, the uh, polite requests? Uh, how to you, how to use these expressions to show the polite request? As we mentioned previously at the beginning of this uh, unit, uh, can and could used are used to show the ability, and now here uh, are used to show the uh, polite requests. So by asking, uh, putting the uh, auxiliary verb or the modal verb uh, can or could before the uh, subject uh, in order to make an uh, interrogative uh, sentence to show the polite request. So the polite requests uh, are an interrogative, an interrogative question, interrogative, sorry, sentence. So, uh, can and could uh, should be uh, at the beginning of the uh, sentence. Uh, also, we have here uh, exercise number five, have more conversations with some of these prompts. Uh, you, you have uh, prompts here and uh, also you have to make uh, polite requests with your partner, working in pairs with your partner, with your friends, asking uh, for uh, using uh, these expressions uh, can or could to show polite request by using these uh, prompts and your, uh, your, uh, your partner or your friend will answer you uh, by the same way in exercise number five so this is uh, this exercise sorry uh, by the same way of uh, exercise number four also we have here uh, the same activity uh, are the Sorry, in the next video, we will be able to see the video in the next video. We will be able to see the video in the next video. We will be able to video Today, 
Manchester is still a busy and exciting city. But it's now more famous for its football teams. Right in the centre of Manchester, there's an unusual school with an amazing history. The school is called Cheetham's and all of its 295 students are very special. Cheetham's is the largest music school in the United Kingdom. And every student here can play a musical instrument brilliantly. Some of the Cheetham school buildings are over 600 years old. The first school opened here in the 1650s. At this time, there were only 40 students at the school. There weren't any girls, and it wasn't a music school. But there was a library at this school. library books were for the school's boys and for the people of Manchester. This was one of the first public libraries in the UK and you can still read the old books in the school library today. lunchtime at Cheatham School. Four students are playing a classical concert in the school hall. These students are 18 and they are in their last year at Cheatham's. Students can come to Cheatham's when they're eight years old. Students come from all over the world to study here. The director of music is Stephen Threlfall. We're looking for young musicians who can play an instrument, ideally can read music, and know something about musical language. The students study all the usual school subjects like maths, English and science, but they also study music for about three hours a day. students at Cheetham's have a passion to succeed in music and the teachers can help them. A lot of teachers at Cheetham's were professional musicians before they came to the school. I can play the cello and that's my main instrument and I can play the piano. I can get by on the piano and I can play the guitar and of course I can sing. And one other thing I do do a lot of is I'm a conductor. So with great teachers and hard work, the students can be very successful. They often win national and international music competitions. and my brother plays the trumpet and my sister plays the piano. 
Peter was interested in music from a very young age. I first started to read music when I was about six years old. My dad started teaching me trombone when I was seven years old. And I started playing the piano a year after that. Today, Peter lives in Manchester with his family, but he wasn't born here. I was born in Northern Ireland and moved over to Manchester when I was eight. I started at Cheatham's when I was nine in 2005. Life at Cheatham's can be hard work, but Peter enjoys it. And he doesn't play the trombone all the time. The best thing about being at Cheatham's is the musical opportunities that you get. At school, I can play in many different ensembles, orchestras, jazz bands, brass bands. I think my favourite is jazz band. When I'm not playing music, I like to relax and play sport like football or tennis. I support Manchester City Football Club and go to see the matches regularly when I have the time. Peter is young, but he is very talented and hard-working. And with the help of the teachers at Cheatham's and a lot of practice, he can become world-famous in the future. <laughs>